Hi, beautiful Virgo. Welcome to a new era. My name is Emma. Uh, Virgo, we will just jump right in and see what we can find for you. I start with a little bit of a different uh, deck here today just to get an overall energy. Um, and then we're just going to go deeper and deeper into the message and you're going to have plenty of time to figure out whether this is your reading or not to see if you want to come with me uh, into the extension. So Virgo for the upcoming month, which is basically all of September, a little bit into October. What is going on for you, Virgo? Cheer up. <laughs> Live in the moment. Let's see what I can see here. Just give me a second before you get to see it. For some reason, I see Pac-Man. I have no idea why. Pac-Man. Is that Pac-Man, by the way? The, the, the face or the head, it just eats, you know, like that. They just, they, they eat the little thingy. Reaching higher. So, um, this is wanting, wanting to get up, is what I'm feeling. Wanting to get higher up, cheer up. I don't live in the moment. So, I the cheer up for me, it doesn't feel negative. It feels, um, you could say lighten up, and maybe that would sound negative like lighten up. It would like don't be such a downer uh, but lighten up or I love more the live in the moment like because that will enable you to go higher up vibrationally so the cheer up like I feel the reach here I feel like you're like you're stepping like you're on your toes really trying to reach and all this light it really is coming in you see those rays are coming in and being very flowy, being very um, uh, undeniably open, Virgo, which is quite rare, I have to say. And I can't say that without telling you guys. I uh, watched this um, thing, uh, The School of Greatness with Lewis House. Lewis House. Uh, H-O-W-E-S, House, I think. Um He's had a couple of, uh, go check him out. He's just brilliant. It's just such a, and that's what I'm getting from this as well. Like you rarely see people and you rarely see uh, men being so non-defensive. Like just if something gets thrown at you or if there's a truth coming at you and this truth that really could help you excel or that really could take you to the next level or that really could sort of break through some sort of habits or some sort of um, repetition of something that we're doing that is really not, you know, to your best interest. Uh, and we want to defend it. It's like, yeah, I hear this truth and I hear what you're saying, but I'm going to defend it to the death. I'm going to fight this to the death. Uh, well, the thing that you're k k lashing onto, does it help you? No. It causes disease, it causes um, inflammation in uh, relationships, it causes... So maybe you want to look at this new truth. No, I'm not interested. Like, I feel like there's such a... Like, we, we're so... Um, we're holding such on to our identity. That's why things can... <laughs> that's why as a collective we move so freaking slowly. Uh, it's not like, oh, there's a new idea. Let's take it on. No, let's not. Let's ponder it for a couple of hundred years and then move forward. I might sound a little bit cynical right now. I do apologize for that. I just feel like you're, sometimes it sort of helps to talk about the opposite because you then understand that this flowiness, Virgo, this flowiness about, about you, you want to reach higher. You're, you're fluid, you're allowing, you're not defensive. But there's something about, I want to reach this. I want to get higher. So I don't, I don't, necessarily think that it's a cheer up if it is it's a like cheer up virgo you really are getting there you are getting where you say you want to go but we're going to clarify this and see 
<clears throat> Why is the cheer up card here for Virgo, please? Something with a branch, like perhaps somebody's giving you an olive branch, or or even like you're giving yourself an olive olive branch, like you're reaching out a hand to help you. Can you help yourself? Is that possible? Why is this cheer up card here, please? <laughs> the universe so uh, to me this is it's very similar this is what i'm saying there's no need no need to cheer up here um because you're low if you need cheering up it's just to say keep on moving forward because you're you're on your way to something really beautiful here absolutely gorgeous you're letting in the universe right now there is a connection to the universe you you are it with the universe the face sort of is the face is just your face is coming through the universe's face if that makes sense like you're in complete alignment there and the universe today also comes across as the world card which is very much about uh, an old cycle has ended or the previous cycle has ended and and we're now coming into something new like in number 21 which brings a lot of good fortune um okay going deeper into this message what else can we give virgo here please it's like wanting to reach the stars wanting to reach a higher lighter place universe what else for virgo please going deeper into the message wow so the crown chakra which very much again emphasizes the all-knowing the connection with your soul the connection with your um source so number seven is the completion as well and I, and i didn't say that but when i saw 21 here today i thought immediately of that is three number seven i didn't say it out loud i don't know why i don't sometimes i just don't uh like if you if you divide three uh 21 by three you get seven right so it's like three times seven and here we have three and seven three which is the rejoice and celebration and the seven like three times seven is 21. so there's something about like three times over seven 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 will get you to the tw lucky 21. um and in, in, if i go into numerology a little bit about this I would say that if you've been sort of hanging around in the 777 you've seen it for a while it's been following you around for a bit if you've paid attention um you're coming in you're you're super super in alignment you're super in alignment with your source with your guides your archangels whatever you want to whatever you refer to when you say like i am connected uh to the universe we have the universe card here and just follow me here for a bit i'm getting to a point um, once you've hung around in the seven, uh, and you start then to see number five, or you start to see, uh, number one everywhere, like one, one, one or 11, 11, or I know this is very particular. It's very like math. It's zeros and number ones. That's all of the universe is made up of. Uh, I know it's very detailed here, but, um, if you start to then see 555 or or 55 55 or something like that it's quite rare to see 55 i have to say or like 55 55 it's rather 555 um but it can be like 111 11 11 etc or if you feel you really feel this alignment you feel not this but you feel al aligned you're coming into mastery pure mastery whatever that means for you what what does mastery mean to you virgo when you're stepping into your own mastery to to unveil your deepest truth when we talk about like we're only using what, what do we say like 10 or 15 percent of our brain when you're tapping in to start start to use 100 percent of your of your brain which is the real connection to your mind like the the universal mind the universe's mind um this is what you get there's some sort of there's success here there's celebration 
the connection that's going to be made with the universe or like wherever it's, it is that you're trying to reach, you're reaching it. There's success. That's why I say you, you don't need any cheering up. Perhaps it's just about you, you're going to lighten your energy. There's something with the sevens there, three times seven. Seeing number three as well, like three is a done deal. Seven is also very much a done deal, as is 21. It's like a... It's like um. Ah, oh, I'm not going to find the English word. I'm Swedish and I do apologize. Sometimes I don't, sometimes I'm being given the English word and I don't know what it means. And I then get a little bit insecure because I don't know if I'm using it <laughs> correctly. Uh, and sometimes I'm not being given the word uh, because I would know it, but then I block myself. No, it's like... Uh, the ring of fire. I don't know if you say that. Do you say like you walk through the ring of fire or mangdomsprovet, I would say in Swedish. Like you, like there's a, there's a process. Like you really are going through like one level and then the next and then the next and then the next. It's like the, the, the school of life, basically. And it's like you've been through it all. You've been through it all and you're reaching this three, which is a, like it's a done deal. You did it, it's a done deal. Let's now start to use our real potential. Number seven, you don't have to do anything more. You tried it all, that's my cake story. You put the most beautiful ingredients together, you put it in the oven and you have been a little bit in the waiting game about like, okay, when is it gonna be ready? But it's like, it's time to take the cake out. Um, three times seven adds up to number 21, which is the, like we call it lucky number 21. But there's no luck in it whatsoever. That's pure preparation. That's pure alignment that you have worked your ass off to get to. So it's very much like it's a done deal. You completed the task. You've been through the ring of fire and like this is it. Success. Congratulations. We're going to celebrate because because the connection has or has been made. Does that make any sense to some of you? Can we just clarify this crown and the, the celebration? Okay, I just have to say something. Um, oh, so many things coming through at once. Okay, so I just, oh, I'm going to forget the other one. What was the other one? I already lost it. What was the first one? <sighs> For the love of myself, what was the first one? Oh, it's right there and I can't, I can't reach it. Okay, I'm going to tell you something else that came through after, which made me forget the first one. Um... Okay, so as I start to shuffle, and you will find that this a lot of times with me, right? As I start to shuffle, I stop because that then something else comes through, and then I start shuffle again, and then I stop because then something else comes through. Um, in the midst of when I'm shuffling, I'm completely blank. I'm just, in that moment, I'm not thinking about doing laundry, I'm not thinking about the, what the next message is gonna be, what, I'm not thinking about anything. I'm waiting, I'm watching, and just one with the deck, and I'm just watching it sort of unfold by itself, I'm waiting for the cards to pop out. And in that space, it literally is space. That's my most like open, um, a lot of people, uh, I said this a, a couple of readings back, like saying, oh, am I now gonna be one of those people that get, that get insights in the shower? There's something about the, the purity of the water hitting the body and it creates this space where it allows for a lot of people to get insights or get ideas. Uh, as it can also be like when you're standing at a traffic light. Uh, maybe you haven't thought about this before, but think about it once you're out in, if you're out in traffic in a car or even on a bike and you're sort of waiting for the green light or the red to turn green. And it's like you're just standing there and because we're so focused on it turning green, it doesn't leave much room for for you to keep occupied with your brain because you're so focused on the traffic light that usually beautiful insights 
uh, happen. But then we're so full on, like then you have a goal where you're gonna go with the car and maybe you don't know the next turn and whatever. So you're sort of right back into, right back, ah, oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, you're right back into traffic. I just got the other thing uh, that I'm not gonna forget now. I'm gonna remember it, by the way. Um, yeah, so the, so sort of uh, there's these little hints for you right now, like shower, traffic light, or just cr creating these moments for yourself where you have little spaces where you just literally focus on something or you're doing something that sort of, it just has your full attention, but there's no thought. There's almost to the point of no thought. There's just complete stillness. And in the complete stillness, this can take place. You have a real connection. Your crown in the universe is no, it's, there's no separation. There can never really be a separation. But there's no clouding or, or interfering with the signals or the message, message coming through to you at that moment. And then I got something else, which is all about the, all about the um, uh, live in the moment with the cheer up card. That's what sort of came in first as I started to shuffle, live in the moment. That you're practicing right now, you're truly, truly practicing right now to, if it's not in front of you, it's not true. If it's not, in, if it's not right in front of you, it's not true. Does that make sense? Like, as soon as you start to think about a person or situation, how that's going to play out, or even something about what they even said in the past. If you're thinking about a person and what they said in the past, um, it's not real. You're making it up because it's not. It's not in the here and now. It's not in the present moment. Whatever is being presented to you in the present moment is the only thing that matters. There's something about that here, Virgo, like to. Um, Oh man, I would need a month for your reading today. Okay, um, <laughs> sorry, sorry that I'm letting my own frustration sort of seep in here a little bit. I do apologize. Um, it seems like a lot of you guys, Virgo, are testing your limits or rather testing your unlimited potential. And so when you try like to learn to just be in the here and now, to be in the present moment, what that literally means to be in the present moment is, uh, then I get a really loud tone in my right ear, which is the, it's sort of, it's sort of like a tinnitus, tinnitus tone, but that's just vibration. That is guidance. That's pure guidance coming in, guys. Um, girls. Uh, there's something here with just trying to be in the, in, the, in the right now moment where you only have the truth. Anything else that you're thinking about is not real uh, because it's somewhere else and you're making it up. When you find yourself in the now moment, in the present moment, you will have insight after insight after insight, like just like I'm doing now. It's just, I don't have time to com commit it all. I have to sort of d decide that this is the narrative that we're gonna go with here today so that it doesn't, that I don't sound even more crazy and all over the place. Um, but there's an actual sort of thread to just follow here. There's something about staying in the present moment. If you don't have it right in front of your face, it's not true. If you have it right in front of your face, that's the only thing you need right now. And that's ta that's testing your faith. There's something about tr um, completely um, trusting, completely trusting that whatever you're in right now is the only thing you need. Well, at the end of the month, I'm gonna have, I'm gonna need money to pay rent. But at the end of the month is a, is a make-believe. We're not there yet. And at the end of the month, your present moment is going to be at the end of the month, at the end of the month. And so, and that's only an illusion as well. So there's something about stick to the moment, trust that whatever you have right in front of your face, if something else was needed, it, was, it, it would be put there for you to call it true. 
I know it sounds a little bit like don't give a damn about your life like that that will sort itself out of course do whatever you feel necessary to, to do but there's something here today about you're trying to reach higher you're trying to get to a higher level you want to reach higher up to connect with the universe and we have the crown chakra there with celebration so we're talking about you are reaching a higher level you want to reach higher and how you can reach even higher and how you can get this guidance is by creating these little moments where we open up this space for you to hear the guidance and then not be so freaking fast to move on to your next future or your next step in your life that you then don't realize the insight you were just given but to actually have five minutes to ponder it to have enough time in your life where you're not so scheduled that you can't receive the message fully um and there's also something about if it's not right in front of you it's not true the minute you go to think about what somebody said or think about what somebody might say it's it's a make-believe it's you're not you're making it up right now how on earth would you know what a future version of a person will say that's not up to you what's up to you is to focus on what's right in front of you right now and as you take what's right in front of you as truth and even even that not as truth because if you don't like what's right in front of you i would alternate the what's right in front of me but that's not the point here the point here is that to create enough space or to create enough here and now moments so that you can get the real truth through to you I'm going to continue this in the extension and see what else I can find there for you. Go deeper into this message. It feels very broad up until this point. So I understand if it's a little bit like, is this my reading or is it not my reading? Just trust your intuition on this one. If you want to come to the extension and see what else we can find here. It feels quite deep and profound. Um, so the link to that, if you want to, is in the description box down below. If not, thank you so much for watching Virgo. I hope to see you back soon. Bye guys.